Hi, I'm uh, Matthew Fippin. I'm the Global Director of Procurement at Booking.com. I'm uh, Mathieu Coquet. I'm a Senior Program Manager in Treasury Financial Services and Procurement at Booking.com. So, uh, so obviously, uh, Booking.com is is part of, uh, or, or we're actually part of a wider company called Booking Holdings. Uh, under the Booking Holdings brands are uh, Agoda, Priceline, uh, Kayak, Open Table, Fair Harbor, uh, and certainly the plan and journey for us is to take Source to Pay uh, into the other brands uh, underneath the Booking Holdings umbrella. Yeah, I think there's a, we have a pretty unique configuration inside uh, Booking.com as we, we've selected both the vendor master uh, data uh, module of Evalua and also the invoicing component of Evalua, which is interface with uh, ACP Vim. Uh, so it is yeah, a pretty unique configuration that allows us to really do all of the source to pay activities end to end. Uh, iValue just replicates Booking.com, it replicates Amazon, it replicates Uber. So everything is simplicity. Um, simplicity for our end users, uh, ease to use, five clicks, uh, five clicks to do something, whether it's a purchase order, uh, whether it's an invoice approval. Um, so uh, user adoption uh, and iValue and the simplicity of the, the platform made it a, a no-brainer for us. Yeah, so some of the quick benefits that we saw is, again, we can onboard vendors much quicker. We avoid duplicate vendors. We can identify categories much better. So we have category managers that can identify their spend, uh, track better metrics. Uh, we avoid any kind of duplicate payments. So we're more secure, we are faster. Um, and yeah, I mean, overall, the user experience has been much better. So as well, it's data. Uh, for the first time ever, we've got data. We know. Uh, what money's going out, we know where the, uh, where the purchase orders are going, uh, who we're contracting with, and we have a much better overall vision or, or knowledge of what's going on within our, uh, our ecosystem and our, uh, our vendor database. Uh, I'd say compliance and efficiency are really the keywords that we achieved. Governance, control, segregation of duty. So uh, user adoption at booking is, is relatively high. I think we've got around 1,200 people currently live in the system using it day in, day out. Uh, if we look at our, our vendor stats, uh, vendors onboarding that have returned back into the system more than twice uh, is higher than 50%. Uh, in terms of operational metrics, our PO compliance is around 74, 75% as of yesterday, I think. Um, targeted at 85% by, uh, by the end of August. Um, our automations improved, our speed of uh, speed to approve invoices, speed to approve purchase orders has certainly improved. So uh, I think user adoption has gone, gone really well, or, or probably better than expected. Uh, we thought it was going to be a long journey, um, and I, I think we're probably ahead of, of where we thought we would be by now. I, uh, I, I've genuinely loved our, our source to pay journey. Uh, we, we had buy-in, we had really senior executive buy-in from our CEO, uh, our CFO, um, the CTO, uh, and really it, it was the top-down leadership support, uh, belief, buy-in to the project that has really driven this uh, to be successful. I, I think in terms of approach, I think we did it in, in kind of two ways. We, we came top-down uh, with the support of the board uh, and certainly the, the LT members. Uh, we also came bottom-up, so we made sure that, that that the end users that were going to be using the tool in the system were educated. We made them feel that they were involved in the project. Uh, I think overall, I think we had over 42 teams help us in design phase, launch phase, communication phase. Uh, and so really it wasn't just a, a project for procurement, but it was uh, an overall project for booking.com.